Hello everyone, this is D-Wall here, um, and I just wanted to make a few quick announcements in regards to uh, a couple of things that are going on. Um, I was going to make a few separate videos on this topic, but I figured I might as well just make one long video and get everything out of the way and hit all the points that I need to before uh, I forget anything or if I leave anything out. So... The first thing that I would like to address is in regards to uh, a couple of things that have gone on in the last couple of days. Um, I am not going to repeat those things here. I'm not going to bring up old news. I'm not going to bring up any of that stuff right now. But um, you know the situation if you've seen it online, if you've seen it on social media. And I am here to inform you as of right now, Caleb Blair will not be coming back to the Destiny Championship Alliance. He will not be making any more appearances. He will not be making any more um, matches or any of that sort. He is gone from the Destiny Championship Alliance. Now, in regards to that and in regards to Takedown's roster, um, I am currently in the process of restructuring the entire Takedown roster. So anyone and everyone is liable to be moved slash switch slash let go in that process um i can tell you though that i am going to confirm one match that will be taking place um and it is in regards to jc wolf and zach stone now i am leaving it up to zach to decide on the rematch if he wants to give jc wolf another shot at the dca world title after some controversial images have been brought to my attention in regards to whether J.C. Wolf's hand was underneath the bottom rope at the six-year anniversary show, which is completely understandable from um, a standpoint where he was giving it to me. Now, if the rematch is confirmed, if he wants to do such things, then I will leave it up to him to decide which type of match that he can have for the DCA world title. So again, I am leaving that up to Zach. That is completely Zach's choice whether he wants to give JC Wolf the rematch or not. Um, but nonetheless, that is um, that that situation. Also, I can confirm that the Johnny Sinclair Memorial Tag Team Classic for the men's side will be happening soon. Um, I am still finalizing the contracts of certain tag teams that will be coming in for this tournament. Um, but when that is announced, when that is completed, um, the eight teams that I posted a couple of months ago will be in the tournament and they will be competing for the number one contendership. And this time, the number one contendership will be for the tag team titles at Redemption in August. So Casey Gordon and Calvin Richardson, the new DCA Tag Team Champions will defend their championships if they are still champions by that point against the winners of the Johnny Sinclair Memorial Tag Team Classic on the men's side. Now, as for Takeru, the DCA Pure Champion, um, he won the title from Arcan in some kind of shenanigan-like ways. Um, now, of course, that's nothing to do with him. I'm no Takeru. I've known him for a very long time, and I know he is not the kind of person that would take a shortcut to get a championship. So, I know that Arkan wants another shot, but unlike the J.C. Wolf situation, this is a little bit trickier to do since I don't know what Johnny Bravo's motives were for coming out and costing Arkan the pure title. So, in that regard, uh, I am I am going to speak with Johnny about that and about his actions, and appropriate action will be taken on his behalf. However, in regards to the number one contendership for the pure title, that will be taken care of on takedown, where we will be starting a tournament to decide a fatal four-way contender for the championship. And on the next takedown, there will be two matches, two qualifying matches, and those the winners of those two specific qualifying matches will go on to a fatal four-way to determine the number one contender for the pure championship. Now, one last thing. The celestial champion, Travis Touchdown. He defended 
the championship in rather controversial circumstances once again at the six year anniversary show when he when him and Aaron Anderson were both counted out on the outside. Now now this would rather in other in other circumstances this would mean that Travis would get another match with Aaron Anderson and Aaron Anderson would rightfully get a rematch. However, after the match, Aaron Anderson decided to assault the DCA Celestial Champion. And then after that, Johnny Gat decides to come in and assault Travis as well. So I am currently looking into Aaron Anderson's case and why Johnny Gat actually decided to show up and attack Travis as well. So there is no number one contender in any sort. For the Celestial title right now, Travis is still the champion. I have no clue who a number one contender is, but I will let you know the moment I get an opportunity to for that championship. Now, taking it away from DCA business for just a quick second, I'm going to move on to the other sort of business that I take care of, and that is Queens of Wrestling business. Now, I know a lot of people have been tweeting me and emailing me and texting me and asking me, d what the heck is going on with the Queens of Wrestling Championship picture? What is going on with the title? Who is going to face the champion at Prestige? Well, I'm here to answer those questions. First off, we already know the tag team title situation. Skyward Twilight will defend the Queens of Wrestling tag team titles against Cylectra. That's already confirmed. We also can we also know that it will be Destiny Williams defending the Soul Silver Championship against the Quake. That is confirmed. And finally, we also know that the next challenger to the Queens of Wrestling Championship past Prestige 2 will take place there, as it's going to be Madison Starr taking on Elizabeth Preza, non-title match, mind you, in a falls count anywhere match so that is going to take place as well but the question is what is the future of the queens of wrestling championship itself i will get to that in just a moment but first i would like to make a very special announcement and that is the case of a brand new queens of wrestling title now if you've been following the social media you know that i said that there was going to be another title that would be introduced and that is exactly what is going to happen at prestige 2 there will be a brand new queens of wrestling championship that will be decided on that night will be introduced and decided on on that night and that championship will be officially the Queens of Wrestling Joshi Parisu Championship, or Joshi Championship, whichever one you want to call it. And I have four, four great talents already lined up to decide the new, the first ever champion, excuse me. We have Rainbow Mika, Mayu Iwatani, Danny Gibbons, and Ayumi Otonashi. Those four women will compete in a fatal four-way, one fall to a finish, actually, yes, one fall to a finish contest, and the winner of that match will be the first ever Queens of Wrestling Joshi Champion. That will take place at Prestige 2. Now, in regards to the actual Queens of Wrestling title, they're so many people that deserve an opportunity at this title that it literally I literally could not think of one single person that could be the number one contender so there isn't going to be just one specific person that's the number one contender oh no 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 here's how we're gonna play this first I wanna make this clear right off the jump Asuka Kazama will get a Queens of Wrestling Championship match. I don't know when. It won't be at Prestige, unfortunately. But Asuka, I have personally guaranteed her she will get her shot at some point after being screwed out of it at the six-year anniversary by the new champion, the Queen Cobra, Reiko. And speaking of Reiko, 
this is how we're going to play it. At Prestige 2, we're going to do something we've never done. We're going to do something I've never done. I'm going to have the first ever Queens of Wrestling Fatal 5-Way match for the Queens of Wrestling title. This is how we're going to do it. Reiko will defend the Queens of Wrestling Championship against the man, Becky Lynch, the ninja, Jade Storm, the Rave Slayer, my Mimi Ishibashi, and a mystery opponent that will not be revealed until the very night of the show, until the very last person comes out of that curtain, then you will know who the next challenger is after that. So, Reiko, Becky, my Mimi, Jade, and a mystery fifth woman in a fatal five-way match for the Queens of Wrestling Championship at Prestige 2. That's how we're settling it. Hopefully, that solves everyone's issues. Hopefully, that solves everyone's problems. So, to recap, Caleb Blair out of DCA. Takedown will have a complete overhaul of the entire Takedown roster, and I will let you know more updates on that as it becomes available. Zach Stone will have an option to give J.C. Wolf another opportunity at the DCA world title. Takeru will get a number one contender for the pure title in a sort of mini tournament fatal four-way. The Celestial Championship picture is under investigation as of right now. Queens of Wrestling Championship, the Joshi title will be on the line. First time ever at Prestige 2. Mayu Iwatani, Danny Gibbons, Rainbow Mika, Ayumi Otanashi, and Queens of Wrestling Championship, Fatal 5-Way Match, Becky Lynch, my Mimi Ishibashi, Jade Storm, and a mystery challenger all to challenge Reiko for the Queens of Wrestling title. And don't forget, there will be brand new Queens of Wrestling belts to be presented to the winners of these matches at Prestige 2. And don't forget, the very first match of the Queens of Wrestling tournament will take place at Prestige 2, and I will let you know on social media exactly which match that will be. So, with that said, thank you guys for listening to this short little video, the short little update video, even though it's not really short, it's really going on 13 minutes now. Thank you guys so much. This is D-Wall, and I will talk to you guys later.